Ladies and gentlemen, we finally have more news about the other legendary commander coming soon in December in Rise of Kingdoms and is none other than Stefan III, a brand new engineering versatility and skill commander. So today we're going to take a look at all of the skills that were revealed here, which for ranged players is obviously going to be super exciting. But first, if you appreciate breaking news for Rise of Kingdoms, drop a thumbs up on the video. It really helps out the channel a ton and it helps get this video out into the algorithm so other Rise of Kingdoms players might see it. Okay, his active skill has a rage requirement of a thousand it says the current target of this commander's troop takes range direct damage with a damage factor of 800 or 1500 if the target is within melee range takes additional damage every second for two seconds with a damage factor of 200 or 350 if the target is within melee range they are also inflicted with the exposed effect for two seconds whenever this commander's troop launches a ranged basic attack against an exposed troop it mighty heals itself for a large portion of its slightly wounded units okay so we have instant damage we have damage over time so that is what is this if it's ranged it's another 400 damage factor so we have a total of 1200 it looks like and also we mighty heal for two seconds very interesting only a two second tick window for this heal okay let's take a look at the second skill it says this commander siege units gains 35 percent defense and while not in combat their siege units also gain 20 percent march speed okay so if you are already in combat you're already being hit you're already you know doing your thing you are not going to get this but if you're just trying to get to the battle or get away from the battle and you're not being hit then you're going to be super fast which is nice 35 percent defense is a ton i feel like we already have a ton of health on commanders like gajamata for example he has like 40 percent health too so this is going to be a super tanky pairing especially because gajamata also does some mighty healing as well um that's the first thing that came to mind here but also historically you know that uh range typically with like a lot of attack as well because uh, like ideally they're not going to be getting hit they'll be on the back lines and if that's the case if you're not being hit you don't need defense and health right but anyway taking a look at the third skill it says this commander's troop takes 15 percent less ranged counterattack damage whenever their troop launches a ranged basic attack it has a 10 percent chance to gain a 25 percent bonus to ranged normal damage dealt for three seconds with a five second cooldown okay I mean this is pretty tanky right I mean ranged counterattack damage is typically a lot of the damage that you take as a ranged March right those are the ticks of damage that you take back every single turn and on top of that bonuses to normal damage also increase the damage that you deal for smite damage for example right so if we talk about Cordoba I mean that could be nice if the timing actually lines up because this is a 10 percent chance okay let's take a look at the fourth skill it says whenever this commander's troop launches a ranged basic attack there's a 40 percent chance to gain two percent attack and lose half a percent of defense for 15 seconds this effect can stack up to 15 times and its duration resets whenever it gains another stack so super high probability and the fact that it lasts for 15 seconds and stacks up to 15 times this is going to last a really long time i think the idea here is to make sure that even if you know targets aren't within range you're still going to keep this buff for a decent amount of time right because targets come in and out of range and so it's it's nice to have this up for a while but this is a stacking 30 percent attack at the cost of seven and a half percent defense so pretty good trade off there especially considering uh, again you know you want to stack a ton of attack on these marches because you're going to be dealing a ton of damage without necessarily taking a lot of damage back so this is a sort of I want to say high risk high reward but really it's like low risk high reward it seems like especially because you already have so much defense on this uh commander himself as well taking a look at the uh, expertise here it says this commander's troop deals 10 percent more ranged skill damage okay whenever their troop deals ranged skill damage it has a 20 percent chance to deal ranged direct damage to up to three nearby troops near the target damage factor of 500 every additional target of course reduces the damage by 15 percent with a cooldown of 10 seconds okay so increase in skill damage and whenever you deal skill damage you have a one in five chance basically to deal a three target aoe effectively a 500 damage factor aoe which is super nice okay so this commander effectively um is like i mean i'm getting mini cordoba vibes here right like obviously cordoba is, is has a much stronger active skill um but like the fact that you get this aoe 
on the expertise on top of a regular skill shot here seems super super nice the only downside here is that he doesn't seem to have perfect synergy with Cordoba I mean he has a little bit of bonus range normal damage here which could help Cordoba a bit because he deals smite damage but um he does also himself deal skill damage and boosts range skill damage so um, let's take a look at who we might want to pair with Steven the third or is it Stefan the third I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right but as an engineering commander we are obviously going to be looking to the other engineering commanders in the game so let's quickly take a look at Cordoba see if there's any synergy here to be had of course we have the range smite damage th to three troops we have 20 percent attack and additional range smite damage here as well here we have even more defense up to 10 percent here okay and you can stack the vigilant effect for more ranged uh smite damage less range counterattack damage which is nice ranged uh bonus normal damage so really Cordoba in in his own right is insanely good I don't necessarily think that this is the pair that you're going to go with I think that um you're probably going to keep pairing Gash Amada with Cordoba and then possibly you run Margaret with this other new commander right actually maybe it's Bobber because if we think about this new commander um Stefan the third he's dealing he has the skill tree right which we actually don't have on any other ranged commander in the game right now so we officially have a skill based range commander so if you did him with the skill tree and then Bobber as the secondary right then you you have two commanders with decent single target damage Bobber gives him some uh, attack always whereas with Stefan the third he's stacking attack over time but this is just overall a nice bonus uh to his stats here bobber himself also has another range direct damage factor instant proc here which is really really nice here we've got 30 percent health and whenever you take damage you have a 10 percent chance to gain 40 percent defense and all damage which is very nice as well expertise even more attack and when you use an active skill you gain 50 rage per second for the next three seconds so a little bit of a rage engine there I feel like this might be the pairing right you would do Steph in the third primary Bobber as the secondary now of course you guys know um this is I mean this is a 2400 damage factor right that is pure skill damage that is going to be on top of um the skill tree that this new commander has now of course this is reduced by 50 percent of the target isn't within melee range but even still this seems like like the synergy is here if we take a look at Margaret really small damage factor here 600 damage factor reduced by 50 percent which is unfortunate um we do have a little bit more attack and some March speed as well which is cool but all in all okay 20 percent range skill damage is nice I think that that might also be something that we have to take a look at um reducing reducing March speed as well and we have five percent all damage lowering the target's defense uh, at range is also very nice of course extra defense healing as well um do we care about Gajamata here I feel like Gajamata might just be paired with Cordoba and then this new commander Stefan is paired with Bobber or Margaret because I mean man it could be the case that Stefan is paired with Bobber and then Margaret and Cordoba stay together or Gajamata and Cordoba depending on how you've been running them personally who you invested in really interesting stuff here I personally don't think this new Stefan commander is like game breaking at all like I don't think that this is I mean if I'm just kind of breezing through here really quick we have a ton of health here more range normal damage we have extra mighty healing which is nice do you care about mighty Heal I feel like mighty healing on range could be nice because it gives you sustain in the back row I mean you're taking like constant slight counterattack damage but you're just going to be healing that off because you're going to have so much mighty healing here um, on top of the healing from Stefan as well right 400 healing factor is quite good when it's mighty healing right remember that here we have 25 percent attack troop steel ranged smite damage or whenever this troop deals range smite damage you have a debuff here so I mean man I I feel like um that there's there's a little bit of synergy with got with Gajamata here but really he's all about range smite damage and so is Gonzalo um I think maybe if you wanted maximum damage you would do this new Stefan commander with Bobber as the secondary um I would have to double check on that with maybe somebody who's a little bit more interested in siege and range commanders but Margaret's defense reduction at range is super good so I feel like leaving it on the bench is definitely leaving a lot there um, the question is this brand new uh Stefan commander is this a commander that is so good that have you had you not invested in ranged yet is this a commander worth getting and is it worth investing in ranged entirely for this commander specifically and if we you know if we look more into this I mean I don't know he's dealing he's dealing uh, not as much active skill damage as you might want out of a commander like this 
but at the same time you also have healing factor here and i mean i don't know it's there's a little bit of tankiness i feel like this range normal damage isn't perfect for smite dam for smite commanders even though there is some some synergy there um it's like this commander's like he's like built mostly for skill but like there's that tiny bit of extra smite and also the healing factor it's mighty healing so it makes me think he should go with gajamata but i guess maybe you want to split them up so you can heal both of your armies i mean really i feel like the expertise kind of saves him here if it wasn't for the expertise um i mean like you do get 30 percent attack stacking but it's not like a ridiculous amount of stats right i mean 30 percent attack and max 35 percent defense that's it um we don't have any other like bonuses to like all damage or anything like that so i mean man is this going to be a good addition to the range lineup i think absolutely is this going to be part of the single best like if you're going to run one ranged march would it be this with Cordoba and just you I mean there might not be perfect synergy there but you're just like like combining both AoEs from both commanders and like it's just the maximum amount of damage that a single March can deal that might be the play like if you're only running one March then maybe run Cordoba primary with a Stefan secondary because at least with the attack tree um you you're not locked into skill damage right because Cordoba deals smite damage and so it might be best to do Cordoba primary Stefan secondary and that could be the single best um march in the game for ranged because you get a ton of extra attack here um you'll have a ton of extra defense again there's not like perfect synergy with these kits but it's just the fact that you're stacking both like aoe's on top of each other you kind of have to play a little bit different i feel like when you're making ranged marches than you do with like a murder ball march right like murder balls you're looking for perfect synergy across the entire kit and with ranged i feel like all you really care about is dealing maximum amounts of damage and because both these commanders have a little bit of aoe here on the expertise plus the aoe on cordoba even though we've got skill and smite i feel like if you're going to build one ranged march that might be it and you just don't care about the fact that there's not perfect synergy and you just go with it i mean there is still a little bit of synergy here right so it's not like there's nothing and they both just bring a ton of stats they have a ton of attack in the field um you're gonna heal your cordoba as well you're gonna basically snipe one target down um and then deal aoe with cordoba so i mean look i i think this this could be something um does this completely change my mind about smite do i want or sorry about range do i want to invest in range now because of steph in the third um we'll see he's not as exciting as i was hoping you know if he was another cordoba i feel like that would really piss players off so personally does this like really move the needle for me as a player who hasn't invested in range um do i want to invest in range now not necessarily he's not like insane to the point where it's like oh my god i i have to get range now but i mean also maybe i'll just wait and see how people use him and if he is actually popping off of course mr siege on youtube i'm sure is ready to expertise this commander on day one so we'll have to wait and see the other question is though um he's a versatility commander so is he the wheel commander or is he the mightiest governor commander i feel like we've never we've never seen a mightiest governor range commander have we right so i don't know if i mean i don't know if if we would see that i i'm, I'm a little bit worried now actually because i'm thinking about um philip i'm excited i'm more excited for philip than stefan to be completely honest with you guys and both these commanders are versatility commanders and so I don't know which one's going to be on the wheel of fortune now right um i have no idea and so you know i personally would love to see philip on the wheel because i feel like that commander is more versatile in terms of if we just like look objectively at the player base right what percentage of the player base cares about um a, a universal secondary leadership commander versus what percentage of the player base cares about a, a new ranged commander that may or may not be ranged meta might, he might be i I, feel, I have a feeling he will be but I, we don't know for sure um i feel like this commander is definitely more niche than philip the second and so i would rather philip the second be the mightiest governor commander because you know then more people can get their hands on philip and that's the commander that i feel like most 
people care about however if we look back historically if we look back at like Heraclius if we look back at Lapu Lapu um these commanders are the mightiest governor commanders right and so it could be the case that Philip is the mightiest governor commander Stephen the third is the wheel of fortune commander we'll have to wait and see and of course the official announcements on the rise of kingdoms channels will be the ones letting you know and of course I'll let you guys know as soon as I can but let me know what you guys think about Stephen the third in uh the comment section below are you excited for him are you going to invest in range now or are you going to hold out for whatever the next set of commanders is ideally it's cavalry because I already made a video predicting who I think or what I think they're going to be check that out on the channel if you missed it let me know in the comment section below what you think about Stephen the third while you're down there drop a thumbs up on the video it really helps out the channel a ton it helps get this video out into the YouTube algorithm so other rise of kingdoms players might see it and while you're down there consider subscribing to the channel and clicking the bell to be notified the next time I upload a rise of kingdoms video we are so close to 80,000 subscribers and it really helps out the channel a ton anyway guys thank you so much for watching this has been Omniarch I will talk to you guys again soon peace